lost 10 pounds? Three? In three weeks. Not great. Not that's that's one of those that's like like it, I've been trying to I put on a lot over a course of a few months and um, I've been trying to get it off because apparently I am insulin resistant, which means my body looks at insulin and says nay nay. So we've been trying to work on that. They've I've had to I, I've switched to the uh, a a low to no carb diet, which I hate. Why are carbs in all the why are all the good things carbs? I know my ex-husband did Atkins and I was just like, if you tell me that I have to not eat pasta or French fries or really any form of potato, I will tell you, just let me die. Stop saying those words. I hate you. I can't eat those. Right. It's just. Mm, I no can't fun. have those. Like the and last like when thing I was I on chemo, all of those things tasted really bad and it was because those are my comfort foods i love carbs i'm allowed to have cheese but i can't have bread so i'm like i'm thinking to myself what if what if i i cut the cheese really really thin make your own jokes there children if i if i if i cheese cheese slices on the meat and i just do the sandwich like that so yeah, I, I tell yeah. my doctor, so um, I've lost 10 pounds in three weeks. And he's like, huh. Okay, is 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 there a problem? I don't know. It's, you should. I pay yeah, you to know like, these things. That I mean, a lot like it could be because your diet has changed. It could be like water weight drops off really fast. Mm -hmm. So it's possible it's that, but if I was your doctor, I'd be like, let's just get you a CT scan just in case, because you're in your 40s. Also, um, my cortisol levels have dropped off, which apparently when, when I have this situation with, with the, uh, the insulin, they're not supposed to go down, but they have gone down, which that's another one of those, mm. huh, kind of things. Uh, so I have to go in for I this I would think test. that was a good thing, because that's the stress hormone. I have to go in for this test in like uh, two or three weeks. And what they do, this is a fun test. Um, you have to fast, you go in first thing in the morning, and then they inject you with this chemical that induces adrenaline. Oh, it's the non the non treadmill yeah. stress test. Yeah, and they have to keep checking your blood. So I'm pretty, they're pretty much gonna go and in they and do jack it more my, than once. And I'm like, like they keep I, adding the adrenaline. Like, like Tara, I, I, I came from the generation that saw Pulp Fiction. I, I know I'm not real comfortable with having adrenaline injected into me. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find a whole bunch of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the F*** is wrong with you? And we are going to begin, of course, in, uh, in Florida this week from uh, Flagler County. Bunnell, Florida, and we have video here. Let me get this queued up so we can share this ridiculous shit with you. Where this is a uh, a three mile per hour chase. Like if you thought OJ was going, if you even remember OJ, if you thought OJ was going on taking taking a sweet time. Now, this is a wild one. Let's get going here. Kyle McNary, 33, is accused of kicking a victim out of a vehicle and leading deputies on a two to three mile per hour chase. In El Florida, a man is in custody after leading law enforcement on a slow chase in Bunnell following a hit and run. Now, this gets a little confusing. I had to go and check a couple other stories to figure out what's going oh, on. Oh, he dragging something. Yeah, that that's that's the, he went over a stop strip. So he has, he, he, they blew a tire. We'll get to that. According to the press release, victim stated McNary wouldn't drive faster than 15 to 20 miles an hour. And they stopped to switch places so the victim could drive. McNary then ran into the street and started waving at cars passing by before McNary was placed in the passenger seat. However, the, as the victim was getting in the driver's seat, McNary kicked him out and drove off. Now, see, I don't understand the relation of these two people. And other, yeah. other write-ups to this did not help me explain this. 
But the best I can figure is he was riding with someone. He was driving too slow. His pastor said, you're driving too slow. Let me drive. Then there's running around in the street. Then he kicks the guy out. Then McNary Why drove the theater. Did they not drive off without him? I don't know. There he, Especially if, like, they're saying the victim was this a carjacking? Because I would have let, like, no, as soon not. as the guy gets out, you can go. McNary drove the intersection of US 1 and Otis Stonehunter Road, where he was involved in a hit and run. Victim of the crash told deputies the SUV McNary was driving came to a complete stop in front of the vehicle she was in without giving the driver enough time to stop. Sheriffs also found McNary using stop sticks on the slow driving vehicle and issued commands on the public address system, which he ignored. Deputy said he made several U-turns and eventually landed in a ditch. In the driving rain, three deputies approached the SUV and shattered a rear window. McNary complied with orders and exited the vehicle, walking toward deputies with hands up, laid on the ground and was placed in handcuffs. Charged with simple battery, failing to remain at a crash involving serious bodily injury, fleeing and eluding law enforcement, obstruction without violence, battery on a law enforcement officer. I had to look up what that one was because that's not in the story. Um, he means bit he one of the deputies. Right? He bit. Oh. He bit one of the deputies. Ew! Resisting law enforcement order with violence, aggravating himself. What the entire hell happened here? There's no mention of drugs just- or alcohol. Watching that video just makes me think you're going to die in five minutes. It's, it's just. It's what the hell I mean, happened? If he drove any faster, he would mess up that beautifully coiffed hair, I guess. If you're driving. Three miles an hour. What are you expecting to do? What what is the end goal here? Here's my question. If huh. you're in a car chase with a guy driving three miles an hour, why couldn't any of the p- cop cars just pull in front of him? Well, he kept apparently kept doing U-turns like, but it, it's it's different. Okay. Like if, he's going three miles an hour. Surround yes. him. Yes, I know. Because even if I he know. hits you, he's going three miles an hour. I just, I don't, like... Like, why are we it, fucking with the spike strips? He's going three miles an hour. Just block is, him the fuck in. This is quite literally slow enough Hell, to go up and knock on his window. Right. You could probably run faster than that. Sir, I need you to get out of the vehicle, sir. No! You're just gonna yell at me! Because... I, I don't... I... What was the point? Yeah. Literally I mean, just the fact that he bit somebody. Every- maybe he was driving so slow because he was just really slowly dying of zombie virus. And now we're all fucked. I mean, we all know it's going to start in Florida, right? We have more Florida and hurricane stuff. I feel a stuff. little bad making fun of Florida today. Yeah. Because they're not this fucked. Week. It's not this week's hurricane stuff. It's last week's hurricane stuff, which also hit them. Um, yeah. But this one is like. Worse. Yes. Apocalypse hurricane. Um, this one is which where did this come from? Fort Myers. This is from Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, Florida man That's arrested for. Shot. Yeah, arrested for sleeping on Walmart roof with gun in hand. Cape Coral man was arrested after deputies say they found him sleeping on the roof of a Fort Myers Walmart with a gun in his hand. That's like a Johnny Cash song, isn't it? <laughs> Daniel Ray Rios, 30, is facing char- one charge of trespassing after being arrested on Saturday. Lee County deputies responded to Walmart on Six, Cy- six Mile Cypress for reports of a man on the roof with a handgun. The deputies arrived. You're not sniping point- anybody with a handgun, bro. No, 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 no. It's it's would, would you find out why? It's 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 even more baffling. Uh, police told him he was checking the air conditioning unit after Hurricane Helene and noticed a man sleeping on the roof. Deputies say they made the way to the roof and found Rios 
taking a nap with a revolver in his hand. According to reports, Rios was on the roof the night before to ride out the storm. What? That's like the last place you want to be in a hurricane, outdoors and high up. Of, of all of the... And what was the gun for? Well, I guess he thought he could hide from it. But if that didn't work, he would defend himself. I mean, I should we have literally had to have the news tell people not to shoot at storms before. Well, so think think about it, Tara. It's the last place the hurricane would look. We're all it we're just, all going to like school gymnasiums and, and and you know hurricane shelters. He's on the roof. The hurricane's never going to find him there. It it will though. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely it will. It will. I'm sorry if I'm crinkling. I had some work done on a tattoo today, and I tried to cover it with the hoodie, but I got hot. So I'm sorry if I'm crinkling, making crinkly noises. Sorry. Right. I, I just that's it, like the that's like the last place you want to be in a hurricane. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Especially that's like, like if there's gonna be like, gonna be like Kevin flash Costner flooding, and man, you're gonna be like Kevin Costner and Man of Fucking Steel. Like yeah, you're gonna be gone. I I don't I. I have the sailor vampire. I have the high ground is not a good idea during a hurricane. It's not. It's not. Uh, Clip says the Second Amendment doesn't scare hurricanes. No, no, that doesn't no. work. Although there is going to be plenty of shooting in the hurricane, even though they they tell them not to, they do it anyway. We can't we can't really stop them, unfortunately. I would be worried, and this is going to sound incredibly ignorant, probably, but y'all know I don't know shit about guns. I would be very worried about shooting into a storm like that and having the bullet blow right back at me. It's like pissing I don't know into the wind force, on hard mode. Right, like, I don't know which force is greater. What is my touch? It's a big floral piece. I added some today. Next up, Utah. There are there. You know that that experience where you go on on social media and talk about anything, especially something you're familiar with and you're you're well versed in, and that might even be your job. You'll get that reply, motherfucker, who not only is more confident is confident they know more about this shit than you, they are also completely fucking wrong. That, that when is, I got that my is... first tattoo, this one, it's a tarot brooch because my name. And I said on the show, like, that, you know, this tattoo will always have meaning to me because it's my name. Someone in the YouTube comments actually said, until they find out that it's actually a different brooch. Which only tells me you don't fuck all about the tarot brooch because, like, it, it wasn't named that in antiquity. It was named that by the jeweler that found it for marketing purposes. But so confident. That he was really getting me. Yeah, well, this time, th this is like that only the, the live action, the meat space version. Th this fucking guy. Um, Moab man charged after interfering with deputy giving CPR. Moab man is facing charges after he interfered with a Grand County Sheriff's deputy while he's providing CPR to a patient. Back in September, Jeffrey Allen Lawn, 44, was charged Friday in Grand County with obstruction of justice, a third degree felony, and three additional misdemeanor charges. According to charging documents, this stems from a September 20th incident where a deputy was giving CPR to a patient. Lawn was, quote, repeatedly critiquing the chest compressions, at one point, grabbing the deputy's hands. 
according to the probable cause statement that was filed that day, Lawn repeatedly claimed to be a 15-year critical care paramedic and refused to leave when instructed by other deputies. Following the incident, the Ground County Sheriff's Office attempted to verify Lawn's claims, but could not find a valid emergency medical technician's license for Lawn. The closest they were able to find was an expired certification from the National Registry of Emergency Medical Technicians. Lon's first court appearance is set for Monday. The this fucking happened audacity. This in the pilot of Lost. Did it? Boone, Boone, like, is giving Jack shit about, no, you're going to tip her head farther back, and can't you do a tracheotomy with a pen? And Jack's like, I'm a doctor. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> Except, you know, he didn't reach in and start. No, I know more than you. Give me. Give me. Stop it. Stop it. God grant me the confidence of a mediocre man. Jesus Christ. Is there anyone would... in this world more confident than some mediocre ass man? Like, I have been in a couple circumstances. Not like fucking. Well, I didn't know that at the time, but not like really fucking life and death. But I've seen people while well, a couple people fainted. Like I've been at events where like it's been too hot and a couple, one or two people have fainted sometimes. And it's like, oh no, my first thought is not, now is my moment. It has been, I'm getting the fuck out of the way. In part because I don't know how I can help. And another part is I don't want to get blamed for shit. That I, I mean, little self-preservation, also a little, I don't want to make shit worse, but also I ain't getting in trouble for this shit. Fuck you. Um, like, I don't want you to die because I fucked it up. It would never occur to me to run up to a person giving CPR and be like, you're doing it wrong. Let me show you. God. No, you gotta do it like this. I'm like, dude. We haven't actually, I, ca I cannot wait to see, I, I, I'm going to watch and see if we get a court report from this guy because I cannot wait. If he represents himself, I want somebody to give me a dollar. I bet you, I bet you this motherfucker is going to be, he's going to plead not guilty. Like I promise and, you there will be no remorse. Oh yeah. We're like, no, he was doing it wrong. I was saving a lot. Oh yeah, he's gonna uh, that. Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna wait because I have thoughts on that. Oh, and like boy. having having seen chest compressions done in per in person, it is it does not look like TV, man. It does not. They gotta press so much harder than they do on sometimes, TV. Sometimes they break ribs. That's yeah. the least thing. That's the shit. They aren't concerned about that at the time. That's one of those later issues. Your heart's issues. not beating, and that's yeah. a much more pressing issue. No pun intended. Um, we are we are gonna move on. This it's been a it's this is almost nostalgic. It's been a while since we've had one of these. Um, oh, bless your hearts. <laughs> It's time for some keister eggs, Tara. Pair caught with ketamine-filled kinder eggs in their bums at Creamfields. Look at those mug You're shots. You're going to get them banned again. Look at those mug shots. The one on Look the left that. looks a little like Alan Cumming if he was built in The Sims. <laughs> Tara. Oh, it's from Manchester. Two men were found with Kinder Eggs filled with filled with ketamine in their bums. They tried to street sneak drugs into Creamfields Festival. Marshall Maddock and Harry Hewitson tried to sneak drugs into the Daresbury Music Festival on Friday last year, uh, Friday August twenty fifth last year, as they were about to enter through the north gate. Sniffer dogs raised the alarm, and both men were taken to be searched by officers. Maddock, 21, had a small quantity of handed a small quantity of drugs over to police, but then refused to be searched further. Before he refused, an intimate search uh, was then carried out. Officers found a Kinder Egg filled with 10 bags of ketamine in his anus. 
Hewitson, 22, also refused to be searched initially, but also was found with the chocolate capsule filled with drugs <laughs> hidden in his anus. Wait, the actual chocolate one, not the plastic? I, I, I don't know if they took the chocolate off first. Because, officer, I'm not sure that that's chocolate. <laughs> God, I hope so. But also, can we talk about the sentence before he refused, comma, an yeah. intimate search was then carried out. What? Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's a mess. It's kind of a mess. When was the search done? Y'all invented this language. <laughs> Yeah, if if you are not familiar with Kinder Eggs, if you're in America, you, uh, uh, understandable. They were banned. We here. have like we have like a version, but they're different. It's not the same. Yeah, the real yeah. Kinder Eggs are this chocolate shell. It's an egg, chocolate shell, and inside there's this little pellet. It's about the size of my thumb, and you it, it opens up, and inside there's a, the toy. Normally, it's like pieces of a toy or like a little, and you put it together. They were banned in America because kids were swallowing the pellet with the toy in it. And we have this like bullshit version that's like not it. Somewhere I used to have a whole little set of hippos dressed up like the Star Wars characters that came out of Kinder Eggs that a friend bought me the set of. I don't know what I ever did with those. They're in a box somewhere. So... The idea that you take one of those and pop it up your butt. I guess they left the, the chocolate part to try to disguise. I don't know how the chocolate didn't melt. I don't exactly. I don't understand. Because your butt's a little warm. Like, are you dead? Um, also, how, how desperate do you need to be to buy the ass chocolate ketamine, you guys? I'm not uh, doing that drug. Following the sentencing, police constable Lisa Green said both men, quote, had multiple opportunities to rethink what they were doing. Amnesty bins were in place at entrance points at the site for prohibited items. But despite this, they continue their efforts to smuggle in harmful and illegal drugs. Um, Like, I, I just. The other problem is those little capsules with just the slightest bit of pressure, will pop open. You know what exerts pressure? Your anus. Especially when Chocolate you're concerned. Nash. Yeah. Especially when you're concerned Chocolate. about not getting caught. Can you imagine how tense your butt is? Can you imagine just popping like, open and the then there's just once you got ketamine inside. all up your ass. Yeah, well, well like you were going to pop in like a porta john and be like, I've got something for you guys. Just have to wait five minutes. I've got to really concentrate. <laughs> Don't and like rush you're going to have to catch it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you don't want it falling into the port of lav. Did, did you bring some of that alcohol the, the wash right. for your hands? And like, maybe they have those little portable sinks and maybe they don't, but the pressure on those portable sinks is not enough for I just put my hand up my own ass. All this for ketamine. I don't get it. Was the music really that bad? Like, goddamn. If you gotta have ketamine Ooh. to enjoy the music... Don't go to that concert. It's a bad concert. If you got to have chocolate ass ketamine. Maybe just skip the show. This this next one, this. This has never happened before in the history of our show. This is some actual Captain Planet style fucking villain villainy here. Like literally, this is a this is the plot. I swear to God, if it wasn't an actual cartoon, it should have been. This is like the plot of a Captain Planet cartoon. It's crazy. Give me the link here. Mon U.S. man jailed for cloning giant sheep for trophy hunting. What? I told you. 
breeder in Montana has been jailed for six months for cloning a giant sheep species and selling its offspring at high prices for trophy hunting. Arthur Jack Shubarth, 81, illegally imported body parts of Marco Polo uh, Ar Argalia, Sh Argalia Argali? sheep. Argali? Argali sheep. Okay, there we go. Argali sheep. The world's largest from Kyrgyzstan and sent the genetic material to a lab to create cloned embryos. The cloning resulted in a single male, which he named, quote, Montana Mountain King, or MMK. It's then used to inseminate ewes to be sold to shooting preserves, also known as captive hunting operations. Audacious scheme to create massive hybrid sheep. If they're captive, it's not hunting. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um... Marco Polo Argali males can weigh more than 300 pounds and have more horns that span more than five feet. Sheep native to mountains Damn. of the Pamir region of Central Asia are protected by the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species. They are prohibited in Montana to protect native sheep from disease as well as to prevent the creation of hybrids. So... <sighs> You got the idea. You wanted trophies of these sheep, of all fucking things, these sheep. You right. wanted Who to make. Who the fuck wants to hunt sheep? They're sheep. They don't even. They don't even bother anybody. They just run around making noises, making right. wool, so we can have sweaters and blankets. We don't even have to hurt them to do it. It's actually good for them to cut that off of them. That's how nice they are. And here, you, what, what got in your mind? You know what? I'm going to clone a sheep. I'm going to do science to solve my problem. All of these things are so illegal. It's not you even just like a little, little bit of Jurassic Park where you get to shoot them. Yep. Also, what? Cloning, like, there's a cloning lab where you can just send an animal part in and they'll send you back embryos? What kind of Okey fucking dokey. Bond villain shit is that that's happening I'm in America? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is some crazy shit. Like, you can just mail a leg somewhere and they'll send you back an egg? I could grow a new Dan? I, I want to know how the course of chain of how did this plan come together what started this in their brain like do you watch multiplicity too many fucking times what the fuck yeah it wasn't even a good keaton film uh shubarth said he was ashamed of what he had done quote I got my normal mindset clouded by my enthusiasm and look for any gray area in the law to make the best sheep I could for this sheep industry. My family has never been broke, but we are now. MMK will be sent to a zoo. Well, that's nice, I guess. To make the best sheep you could for people to shoot? That's the sheep industry, apparently. It's like, I know... Tara, why do you have Dan's leg? I, I don't. I don't. I mean, technically I do, but it's ashes. Yeah, it's um, not really useful there, but. Like, I know people eat lamb. I know right. that that is a meat product that we eat. Like, I know yeah. we don't just give sheep nice haircuts and make sweaters. Right. But. They I don't didn't like think we were hunting sheep for sport. They that don't like seem... kick open the barn and start blasting, you know? Like, literally, sheep are the metaphor people use when you're just a dumb follower. Because sheep, like, how hard is it to hunt a fucking sheep? They're slow and incredibly loud, and they just move with the pack. Hi, Charlie. How shitty of a hunter do you have to be to need captive sheep to shoot at? Very bad. Like, how many rounds of duck hunt have you lost, bro? Kids these days, they don't know duck hunt because they can't play duck hunt because TVs don't work anymore. 
Yeah. You will come here? You come say hi? Having grown up on a sheep farm, I can confirm that people do not hunt sheep. That is not a normal thing people do. Thank you. Yeah. All right, our last one this week. Speaking of this is not a normal thing people do. You want to come up here? Charlie, make up your mind. That should I mean that that could be the YouTube friendly name of the show. <laughs> Since YouTube Stop. doesn't like the name of the show. Yeah. Hello. Charlie. Hey, Charlie. He's not as cuddly as he used to be. He's gotten, he's like, okay, I don't have to cuddle anymore. I've, I've, I got in. I'm done. I like that he's just, he's just hovering there while you hold him. Like, ah, I, I forgot know. how we do this, but I think I need to break something. You're tall now. <laughs> Slap me with the tail. Let's. You okay there, buddy? Hi. And bye. Okay, there we go. All right, last one this week. Um, this is from Chicago. And uh, we got video again. Um, let's put this up on the screen so y'all can see. They have uh, Duck Hunt on the Wii. It uses a Wii remote. Uses a Wii remote, yeah. It's not the same. No, nah, there used it's to be a same. little gun. Bang, bang, yeah. Y'all don't know what you've... What, what, Y'all don't know what was taken from you, is what I'm saying. All right. Let's, uh, and that little fucking dog who'd laugh at you hated that dog. All right. It's the only time in my ever life I've ever wanted to shoot a dog. You actually lose points if you shoot the dog. All right. Let's bring the video up here. This is from Chicago. And uh, at the... Uh, Three tow trucks showed up at the scene of an accident in Chicago Thursday, and a demolition derby ensued. Happened at Cicero Avenue in uh, Marquette Road around noon. Police were at a crash scene involving two cars. Cell phone video of the incident shows a white tow truck approaching. Uh, it gets hit from behind by a red tow truck right there. Yeah. Um, then another red tow truck approaches and rams the first red truck. This all appears intentional. There are different videos of the incident going around on social media. And one, a police officer is seen running for safety just before the second crash occurred. This appears to show that competition for tow trucks can get pretty heated. Police are calling them, quote, unknown tow trucks. All three took off and were not pursued. No injuries were reported. No one is in custody at this time. So what happens is, you know how, like, in, in like, in like uh, they all just super sprayed some chrome on their teeth and went for it, huh? <laughs> you know how like in like superhero shows and whatnot, you have the superheroes like listening to the police scanner and then you know wait going to show up and what these guys were doing where they were actually for real fucking listening to the police scanner for accidents and they were trying to get there first to get the business for towing the, the cars away. But apparently they're competing over it. So this happened. But if you wreck your own tow truck. Yeah. Yeah. You're not towing anybody. Because In now fact, you, you need will to be need, towed. Right. You will need someone to you tow you. You dumb shit. But no one's going to be able to tow you because you hit the tow truck with your tow truck. So, Can you imagine being the car that got in the accident? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Here comes the tow. Just, no. The, oh, okay. And there well, there comes a tow. Oh, okay. Well, um, shit. This guess is I'll just, just die furious on the very <laughs> road. Then. For fuck's sake. And not only that, there, there's a cop standing. There's a cop standing right the fuck there. And you're like, oh, fuck you. I'm ramming your ass. There's a cop right there, dipshit. Are you out of your damn mind? I, I find this so confusing. Like, what is the logic of wrecking your own tow truck? This seems personal as shit. This seems like stuff like has a, really 
Is there like an auto body gang war going on? This seems like some Chicago? shit has it, shit has escalated way further than it needs to. Yeah. Like th this is definitely like a couple of competing companies and people know each other. This is first name basis shit. You don't hit somebody's car. This is the truck equivalent of. Well, I mean, no, this is actually the truck equivalent of. Yeah. Cause God damn. I, I just, uh, shadow nightmare. Nurgle says two tow truck drivers are ruthless when it comes to making a buck. One tried to tow my mom while she was parked behind my grandmother's garage with her permission. Um, during a local music festival, my grandma obviously did. My grandpa obviously didn't even call them and didn't have any no parking signs up. So, yeah, it's it's <laughs> right above it. It says, can we get Nash and Tara to start talking about the car pope from Cars 2 again? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I just fucking cars, man. Oh. So now you got the fucking tow truck centipede. Three tow trucks smashing into each other. And the tow truck company that wins is the one that was last to the call and didn't show up. Yeah. Because they show up thinking they're fucked because they're 20 minutes late and they're like, hey. <laughs> I'm going to be busy today. It's so weird. My last experience with a tow truck driver was fucking excellent. Like my car was wouldn't start and I thought it was the was my battery and it turns out my fuel gauge was busted so it was showing I had gas when I didn't. He's like, uh -huh. "No, you're he listened to the car. He's like, "No man, your 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 battery sounds fine. You're not getting any gas. Let's before I take you to the garage, let's just stop at a gas station, put some gas in it, see what happens." I did. I didn't have to pay for the full tow cuz he didn't have to go the whole way. I he saved me fucking money and still yeah just just fucking for the bro that was my last i would not expect him to do this sort in of my thing life, i have had very good luck with tow truck drivers in my life most like every time i've had to be towed and like you know, like you know i'm a woman so i always get a little nervous when the guy's like no i'll drive you i'm like will i ever be seen again getting in a truck with a strange man i don't know and i have been seen again and they've always been very pleasant so so I, I'm I don't, quite happy about that. I have no idea what what in the entire hell. Like, it like, and this is not. We're not talking like thousands of dollars at stake here. This is like maybe two, three hundred bucks for a tow, right? Yeah. <sighs> but no, you have to. We go need twenty two more tow trucks for shit. that for a centipede. No, you don't. The movie only had three people. Three. They only had three. Yeah. Well, the you first only one need three only to had, go ask the, Jim the, Mouse to make a centipede. The first one only had three. They, it got worse hmm. as as they went on. I mean, I didn't watch any got, of them because oh, got like there was like a couple hundred. The in like the, the yeah, it got it got it got worse. It got, let's 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 move on along. So first thing we learned this week is um, tow trucks is serious business apparently. Yeah. We've learned if your idea to make money sounds like it could be a sci-fi movie of the week. Don't do it. You're probably going to go to jail. Don't do it. Or just make the sci-fi movie. Yeah, you just write the script, man. You have the idea. Don't yeah. actually, you know, clone fucking fucking animals. It keeps making me. Did you ever see the Nicolas Cage version of um, Color Out of Space, the Lovecraft? I've seen parts of it, yes. They like live on an alpaca farm, and at the end, yeah. there's like all the alpaca, alpacas are melted yeah, it's, into yeah, one. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Very upsetting. Yes. We've learned that there is no good situation for putting Kinder eggs up your ass. Nothing. No, nothing. I and I know people in the comments are gonna be like, well, what if you have to what what if to save the world you have to no, no, good, no good reason, no good exp you will there's always an alternative to putting a kinder egg up your ass. 
but what, what if putting a kinder egg full of ketamine up your ass is the only way to stop the nuclear war? Do me a favor and write the essay on how that could possibly be, and we'll talk. Yeah. I look forward it to it. Better, everything better be spelled fucking perfect. We've learned that there's some people, their overconfidence is beyond stunning. It will actually in interfere with saving someone's life. I hope we have the learned... guy getting the CPR is okay. Oh, yeah. We've learned you can't hide from a hurricane on a roof. Actually, we didn't learn that. We already knew that. We just reiterated it. And finally, we certainly we've learned, hope all of you already knew that. Yeah, don't don't hide from the hurricane on the roof. And finally, we learned um, if you're fleeing from the authorities at three miles per hour, what are you even doing? You've already failed. Like, are, are you are you trying to go so slow that they forget you're alive? Are you like trying to like? But my you, movement is so slow as to be imperceptible. We, we You're eating a zard nut. 